It's safe to say almost all of us use Google for something or other on a daily basis. And once we're signed into our Google accounts, which is often required to use Google products, the company tracks a lot of what we do on the internet. Well, today, European regulators are saying the company's data collection has gone too far. The Post, Craig Timberg, wrote today's front page story and is here to fill us in. Craig, good to see you. Thank you. Glad to, have, glad to be here. So what's the complaint? What do the Europeans say Google is doing that is going over the line? Their concern is, is with the sweep of the kind of data Google collects. You know, if you move across services, as you say, if you're signed on, Google gradually builds a profile of who you are, where you go, what you watch, what kind of websites you go to. And they say this is all about providing better service, providing more you know, responsive search queries and things like that. But uh, the consumer watchdogs of the world have been alarmed about this since it was announced early in the year. And the, and the European data protection commissioners, who are much more aggressive in many cases than the Americans on these things, said, hold on, right? you're going too far. There's too much data that's being collected, it's being kept for too long, and the sort of open-ended nature of it also is clearly a problem. They, the Europeans would like the data to be collected for particular purposes, for a particular period of time, and they want users to know about it and opt in explicitly. Is there a U.S. angle here either because U.S. regulators might follow or because if Google needs to have these new standards to be kosher in Europe, then it's just easier for them to bring those same standards to the U.S.? Is that likely to happen or no? Don't know yet. Um, Google certainly has the technical capacity to have different policies in different places. So it will be up to Google whether it extends these, these kinds of things where and how and when. The, you know, the U.S. regulators so far have been kind of quiet on this issue. You know, they're investigating Google on anti antitrust. They've investigated Google on some other kinds of privacy matters. But this particular thing, we haven't heard from them. And maybe we will now that, that the Europeans have come out so vocally. Yeah, you mentioned in today's story, Google has another potential problem, which is this antitrust issue. Right. I mean, Google is Google has a lot of legal problems suddenly. They have the, the big patent cases with Apple, where Android devices are getting sued for patent infringement. Uh, and then they have big, potentially problematic antitrust cases in both Europe and the United States. The European regulators are looking into whether uh, Google is essentially squeezing out competitors in the way they present search results. And the Americans are doing the same thing. So put it this way, Google's lawyers are quite busy at the moment. And there's an interesting parallel to 20 plus years ago and Microsoft going through the right. same stuff where at the time, like Google, they seemed like too big to ever fail right. or to ever become a second tier company. Now Google's going through that same process. It's interesting to talk to the Google folks about that. They don't want a big, expensive legal fight that, that potentially you know, undermines their reputation here or around the world. They also don't want the distraction. I mean, we talk to Google people that say, we, we want to focus on our products. We want, to, we want to focus on the user experience. We do not want to focus on dealing with PR problems or, or legal fights. So you get the sense that Google will go fairly far down the road in avoiding that kind of big, explicit court fight with any of the regulators. Yeah, okay, this privacy stuff, a big issue for all these companies, and I know if you're digging around, we'll probably see you again on this sometime soon. Greg, thanks. My pleasure.